You may remember Ben Stein as the dull as dirt economics teacher in the 80s comedy Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Well, now Stein has waded into something almost as comical, Florida's politics. He's the latest pitch man in the pro casinos effort, so I thought we'd run some of his claims through the malarkey meter. First of all, Stein says this. Florida already has lottery games, slot machines, Indian casinos, cruises to nowhere, parimutuel betting, card rooms, dog tracks, horse tracks, internet gaming cafes, and even barrel racing. So, gaming is already here. And on this front, Stein is right. Though I'm not sure how hard up you have to be jonesing for a gambling fix to be betting on barrel racing. Still, when anti-casino crusaders whine about how this bill would bring big time gaming to Florida, they overlook the fact that it's already here, including one of the biggest casinos in all of America. So we'll rate that claim as totally true. But then Stein says this about the bill's true intent. The goal should be to have limits and oversight and make sure the state gets revenue from it so taxpayers benefit from it. Duh. Um, honesty? Anyone? Anyone? Honesty? The goal of this bill is not to regulate gaming. It's to bring three massive new casinos to Florida. Sure, the bill might also regulate some existing gambling, but the main gist is to allow more big time gambling. So we'll rate that claim as major malarkey. Finally, Stein gets to the money matters, which are important to both gamblers and taxpayers. Three destination resorts in South Florida will create six billion of private capital investment and the jobs we so desperately need. That sounds like a lot, right? Well, it also sounds like an exaggeration. The capital investment may be right. Each hotel is vowed to spend $2 billion, but 100,000 new jobs is a stretch according to many critical eyes. The No Casino Groups correctly notes that the U.S. government cites 250,000 jobs in all the casinos all across America. So to argue that we'd get 100,000 new jobs at just three casinos right here in Florida, well, that seems to be a stretch. So we'll rate that claim fast and loose. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm anyone, anyone.